Well, g'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Back on the sand again with this one. I know you all love these ones. So I'm back fishing with uh, Mitch from Mid North Coastal Fishing Tours. We've got the big fella with us, finally dragged him out of the boat, he's on the sand, and we're snapper fishing again. Just putting some baits out now. Mitch, welcome back to the channel, mate. Thanks, mate, thanks for coming along again. Thank you for having us. Brad's with us again, got him out of the boat, like I said. Uh, I'm going to try and catch a snapper off the sand. He hasn't done it before. I got a couple last time, as you would have seen. Um, we're doing the same thing, aren't we, Mitch? We're going to bait. Tie up some concoctions and send them several hundred send meters them out, straight yeah. out. We've got pretty good conditions. The water looks great. Uh, a little bit of swell as some onshore wind. But water looks good. Water looks good. So hopes are high that we can get a good snapper off the beach. Particularly want to get one for Brad because he hasn't done this one before. So. Let's go. Let's get a wind won't worry it. Wow. Alright. So we'll just rig up a couple of baits quickly and yep. a nice bit of reef out there, we'll send them out while we get this other gear all ready. So you get yourself some big pillies, there they go. Um, basically all I do is knock the tail off. And then that tail piece just flatten him out. Squid. You get this squid locally too? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. was just off the trawler last the trawler week. Those, right? Yeah, it's pretty good squid. This. So I might just use a bit of the um, tentacles here, that'll probably work. Basically, what we'll do is. Eh? Bait's still a bit frozen, so I'm just going to. Soften it a little bit. Yep. Get some of this thread. Wind's making it a little bit tricky. So that tail piece that's come off, yep. I'm just going to reverse it around underneath the head and go to town with this thread. The more, the better. back of that we'll chuck a little bit of squid hanging off it. Same thing, plenty of thread. It's a sexy bait mate. Yeah you can see why it works. You don't want a big bait because you want to make sure when that fish eats it he swallows it and you hook up. Yeah. And yeah, the bigger the bait the less likely you are to get a good hook up on them. So small bait but plenty of smell. And with our rig. What, what size will you put on these? Uh, these are just two six so circles. Yeah, circles. Right. Yep. yep. Rig's about the length of the pilly so a um, little bit different to what you'd probably do on the boat. I'm not going to jam the hooks deep into it. I'm just yeah. going to pin them lightly on the outside. Under the string there, yeah. Yeah, and then, because we're going to tie back over those hooks anyway, so they're not going to come out once they're tied on. Plenty of uh, thread around the hooks, especially that top one, because that's where all the weight's going to pull from, make yeah. sure that's on nice and tight. Pretty much it, just a little half inch, break him off. So that's pretty much our bait there. It's a whole pilly, um, plenty of smell, a bit of squid hanging off the end too, so. Yeah. Hang it up in the louvre, could you? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mate, I'm excited. <laughs> you ain't seen that rod you'll love it. I'm like a, a kid in a lolly shop. <laughs> A little bit of remote control aerial stuff yeah. mixed with fishing. What yeah. board does a kid want? This is going to be a great episode, like a dinosaur embracing the new age. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, you have a point there. Well, I can tell you now the dinosaur is not going to own one of them. Okay. I reckon there's uh, so it just ends up. I reckon there's going to be like a few kids drone. asking for drones for Christmas. There will be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. After what we've been doing. Yeah, yeah.
Oh, am I on strike or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey! Stay up here. Keep on him. Oh shit, that's, oh, that's going. That's going alright. Good fish. Load him, cuz. He's alright. Could be big red, mate. I can feel like I'm directing the fish here. Yeah. Once you get 20 metres of line back, you're safe then. So. Had me buggered. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At least long tails keep you enough time to breathe. Oh, good head kick then. Yeah. That's a big fish. I didn't see it. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Woo! Oh, oh Josh, <laughs> shit, look at that. Oh, that's a thumper. He's gonna be happy with that one. That's how we started, eh? All right, that's how you started, eh? This is our second fish. Brad dropped the first one, but he's come good. He redeemed himself with that. Oh, how's that? Woo! <laughs> Who is that? Oh, that is a cracker. He's got some kick in him still, he's a bit green. Well done mate, how is that? Done good. Thanks Bench. Off the beach. Oh. It's been a little bit tight, so... Close me, yep. Yeah. Thoughts mate, first snapper off the beach? Very happy. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, redeemed no, yourself who, good. Who would have known? How is that? <laughs> <laughs> That is an epic fish. Hold him out one sec more. It's a bit of a... Five and a half kilo red. It's good red, isn't it? That's a tight one. Oh, that's heavy, that's your, that's for your yeah, first one off the beach. Yeah, he's going hard. He's going back in there. Is it a burly bomb? Oh, 
Now is that for coal? Yep, that's for coal. Hundred after it's okay. Yeah. 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 Slowing up there, love. Come on. <laughs> Get in there, get in there. Nah, he's still got fish on. Vu, mate. <laughs> yeah, a bit of deja vu, mate. I was just saying to Brad, just bring back memories. Yeah. Good ones. Definitely. Not feeling much there now. Eh? Oh, feeling the arms, though. Hey. Hey. Bugger, yours is bigger. <laughs> oh, how good is that? Well done, mate. There you go. Shit, that hurts. I drank enough beer to kill a small mate. African village last night. How good is that? Not the biggest brands, but still a perfect fish for the table. Eh? Wow. Great size. That's our second one, it's our third hookup. We've only put three baits out. There's a hard line back in there. Oh, it's tough. Down, <laughs> perfect eating size. I'm rooted after that. Right? Oh. oh, nice, how are they? Oh, thanks, mate. No worries. This is the beauty of fishing with Mitch, guys. It's all done for you. Especially after winding one of those things, you need it done for you, eh? So what are we doing now, Mitch? We're going to put out a jewfish bait. Yeah, we're just sort of getting to that time of the day where the sun's going down, mate. So we're going to um, cast these, yeah. Yeah, we've got this sort of gutter just filling in now. The tide's yep. moving in, so we're going to rig up a live mullet, but it's a little bit different to how you'd expect to rig one up. Um, Basically, we're just going to run a single circle hook, yep. but we're not going to put the hook through the bait at all. Oh, really? So, what we've got on here is a little Dacron loop. Yep. And then, just grab a cable tie, feed it through in front of the eyes. It can't be fun to the mullet, though. No, nah, you wouldn't want to come back as a mullet, would you? <laughs> so, I've gone through the mullet in front yep. of the eyes, uh, through the loop of the hook. So, you're almost bridling that, eh? Yep. Pull it down fairly tight so the hook can't get stuck back under it. Yep. We'll take that home with us, don't leave any rubbish on the beach. But he'll basically swim like that for wow. hours. Wow. The only way he can get ripped off is if wow. that cable tie breaks, which won't happen. So, I do that. And um, you find the jewies eat them head first, so the hook up's good. Yeah, so they'll really... swallow them head first. Um, if they spit it, yeah. the bait will still be there. So even yeah. if he kills the bait, it'll come back and hit it again. Yeah. So yeah. there's no way they can actually rip it off the hook. That looks neat, mate. Yeah, it's neat. Oh, like yeah. So I'll go uh, throw this out. You can follow me up there. If yeah. yeah. Um, we'll go chuck him out. I'll explain sort of where I'm throwing it. Oh, yeah. I like it a lot. It's, it's got to get eaten, isn't it? Oh, it's got size bait for a 10 kilo fish. Yeah, isn't it?
we've got this gutter coming through out here. Yep. We're not actually going to aim for the deepest part of it. Right. The fish will actually travel through here, but then they'll look for a shallow bank to feed. Yep. So over on the right here, there's a nice shallow sand bank that's working. So, yeah, big hole here and then shallower over there. You're going to be on that side to it. So I'm going to try and aim it and land it actually on the shallowest part of the gutter. All right, okay. Uh, I'll talk you through this setup the rod. So it's actually got a, what they call a bionic finger on it. Yeah, shit, that's cool. Um, because we're casting a big mullet and a big sinker, you don't want that braid on your finger. Right. So basically what we do, wrap the braid around there. Yeah. And now that's holding our braid. Mate, I haven't seen that before. Um, so it's basically, yeah, what they call a bionic finger. So you're taking your finger out of the equation. Yeah. Um, and then you just release that trigger when you're ready to let it go. This so, is a love that, a bionic finger. We're <laughs> just gonna love him out on this tank here. Righto. That's it. That's it. Set and forget. Set and forget. We'll just stick him up in the rod holder here, mate, and we'll wait now. All right. You don't have to go too far out. The fish will come close to shore, so. Look at the sapphire over here. He's not taking his eyes off it now since he's got one. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> So you wind it up, you just keep a bit of tension on it? Yeah, just a light, probably not quite a kilo of drag, just a light amount of drag. <coughs> so with those grappling sinkers, they'll just like dig in now and they'll stay there, so you don't have to be holding the rod around. Yeah, it, won't, it basically won't drift, so it'll just stay in the one spot. Um, so we don't have to keep recasting that live bait. Every time you cast them out, they sort of get knocked around a bit. It'd be great, eh? Yeah, so ideally you just want to make one cast with them, leave it there. Yep, right. Um, and then, so we, we're, we're specifically targeting Jew here, you fishing in gear with drag on, or you let that? Yeah, probably light? not. Not quite a kilo, just yeah. enough to um, load the rod up so we can see the bite. Yeah. And just enough to set that hook. Right. So we so don't you, want to go too tight. You won't give it any slack though. We've obviously nah. we'll run up it. Yeah. No, so we're using know. a pretty long rod. It's got plenty, plenty of give in it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically the idea is the fish will eat the live head first. Yep. And as he goes to swim off with it, the circle will do its job. Right. So. Oh, that's a theory anyway. That's a theory. If we get one this time. That's if one swims through. So. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna wait for one. Alright, I'll leave that there mate. What are you doing here? Uh, this is a uh, jewelry right. bait again mate. So we're back on the dingle dangle here. Yeah. So you might have seen this on the last video we did a little bit with it. Yeah. Um, so we're going to rig up a squid bait, yep. or a chocker bait, as the South Africans would say. That's where this rig come from in South Africa. So basically just flatten out the squid and yep. just sort of tenderise it down a bit, make yep. it nice and soft. And just pierce the hook through the tip of that piece. Yep. And that's just going to wrap down like that. Yep, you split that tail over there. Yeah, yeah it just sort of gives it a couple of legs. Around, yeah. I might even split that a little bit more. There's two stages to the bait, so I'm going to wrap this bit around the foam. Yep. It's a very, very, very tough bait, and it'll cast exceptionally well, so... And stay together in the circuit. Exactly, wow. so... There's a little bit of effort, but it's worth every, every minute it takes. There's plenty of thread. Can't go easy on it. Now this second piece, we're going to sort of build the bait up, yep. and cover up the rest of this foam. So same thing, I'm just going to just snip it through the tip there. Yep. And I'm going to wrap all the way down and around. Yeah. Um, doesn't have to go all the way to the end, it sort of just builds up that top part. Yeah, right. And same thing again, just wrap it nice right, and right, tight. Yeah. Um, Try and make sure that it's <laughs> nice and exposed. Yep. So that when they do swallow it, that point finds its mark. Like any brim or anything, oh. even a shovel nose, it's going to pick at it. Oh. It's not going to have a problem getting it off. Yeah. So that's basically the bait done. Yep. Let's tie that off. So that dingle dangle will help it sort of float in the surf, yeah? Like yeah, so that bit of water. foam um, will give it buoyancy, so it actually yep. won't sit on the bottom. Yep. Um, 
That'll avoid some of the biggest too, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So it's a fairly decent sized bait, but yep. it's pretty streamlined. Yep. And what that um, dingle dangle actually does, its main purpose is to allow you to clip the bait onto your sinker. Yeah, right. So that little loop sticking out the end goes on the sinker clip. Yeah. So when you cast, it'll actually cast as one unit. Yeah. And then when it hits the surf, it'll yep. bounce off and yep. your bait detaches. All right. So you'll get a lot further distance having that sort of set up in your rig. That is a beautiful bait. Yeah, especially today, we've got a fairly strong on onshore breeze. Yeah. So anything to help get a bit of distance is a yep. big advantage. We sell them back at the shop in South West Rocks, so at Outer Adventure there we've got them. Um, there's only a couple of shops in the country that sell them, so it's probably one of those techniques that's just taken a lot longer to, you know, be adopted. That's the other place people can find you, Mitch, not only on your tools, but you're working in the tackle industry. Yeah, definitely, mate. At South West so, Rocks there. The I've shop. been uh, managing the shop there at South West Rocks for about seven years, so yep. since it opened, so. People come in and have a chat with you? And yeah, every yeah. day, yeah. So. Tap into the knowledge vault? Definitely. Right. Um, I'm pretty blessed, mate. I live and breathe it every yeah, day. Yeah, mate. You are. So, got a great setup. There's nothing better. Anyway, I'll send this bait out. And All right, let's do it. Get something on there. That gunner's looking good now, mate. It's filled up nicely. Going for a bit of distance on this one. Yeah, that's it. We're going to try and get out behind that bank ideally. Camel, <laughs> you fired that one out, Jesus. Mate. Twice as far as you normally cast a bait. I can't even see where that landed. <laughs> Find that thing, guy. Hard work.
still on air. Food him, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Still on? <coughs> Definitely? Yep. Hi guys, so I'm just having a, sa a snag and a steak. Just getting on dark now, one of the rods has gone off. This is a snapper rod in a Mitch. Yeah, yeah. Just put a snapper bait out. Right. Might be another one of those small sized fish. Yeah, a little one. Oh, that's I'm a nice fish, though. Yeah, no, perfect for the table. Yeah. You get a pretty good feed out of one of those. Glad you, <laughs> I'm glad I you. I wasn't putting this steak down. No, no, there was no rush for the rod that time, was there? <laughs> If it was a big bite, it would have been a different story. Yeah, yeah, yeah it would have literally cranked over. <laughs> it's actually not a bad fish now. Yeah, it's weird. They can kind of just do nothing mid-fight, eh? He's not trying to fight me because when he's in the deep, he's cruising along. I probably don't even realise what's going on. Nah, that's in the now. surf now, right? All right. Yeah. There it is. There it is. He's all right. There we go. Another one. Woo. It's all right. Third fish in the bag. Hey, yeah, good one. That's perfect size eating. Very nice. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Alright, Are you on? Say you go off or you hold yourself? Uh, you're on. No, but I'll just bring it in and we'll check it. But it did have that bite earlier too, remember? That's yeah. fish, so there's every chance that smaller one could still be on. Still be on there. Fuck, yeah. <sighs> oh, a bit nippy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm all right because I'm staying active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did just chuck the beanie on though, and that made a big difference. Brad was saying, just, uh, we get tired just watching you. That's all. Hold it in. Keep it off. Yeah. Shark. Just, just felt a boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, I could have been developing the line too. Right. Ah. Uh, oh, fuck, I'm gonna get out of this fucking wind here. Oh, oh, that's free. Right, snag, bitch. <laughs> there you go, guys, that's it. Indoor capsule fishing tools, day on the beach like that. He's up there, isn't it? Yeah, he's good fish. Truck these other ones here. That there, if you're gonna take a fish home from the table, that's, that's him, as good that as it is. gets. That's gonna crack out, isn't it? Oh, tip. Whoa, he's got a long tail on him. There you go, that's pretty straight. 15, 8, 10. Yep. Not bad off the beach, mate. Not bad. For the first all, one mate. off the beach, that is a good fish <laughs> off the beach. Good fish. Tinny bugger. Right guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, another day on the beach with Mitch and Mid-North Coastal Fishing Tools. As I said before, get in touch with them. I'll put all the details in the link below. Uh, come along and try it yourself. You saw Brad's first time chasing a snapper off the beach. Got an absolute cracker of a fish just on 80 centimetres. And a nice stingray too, mate. Oh, yeah. And a banjo ray. Almost on fire. <laughs>
Sometimes it's not good to grab the rod first on uh, mid North Coastal fishing tours. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll see you uh, next episode. All Mitch's details are down below. Do yourself a favour. Come on the beach. Have a fish. You'll love it. See you later. <laughs>